Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps uh, Computer Repair and Upgrade. I have a um, Asus computer and um, it's a gaming computer laptop and um, I'm having some issues with it. Uh, Sometime uh, the memory glitch, the memory failure and uh, other issue was that uh, I wanted to have this uh, laptop uh, updated with the SSD and I wanted to install the second hard drive, bring my hard drive uh, original to backup and uh, bring SSD to main drive and when I try to plug in and uh, it does not uh, pick up or does not show up in BIOS. So I kind of uh, thought about it maybe the cable broken or bad or something or I have no choice uh, unless to open up the whole thing and now I have uh, opened the whole thing and uh, my whole intent and purpose to show you guys uh, to show you the disassembly that in order for you if you want to upgrade or want it to repair with it so you can do it yourself you can have your hands on you know what to do and you can follow the steps closely but in this case um, you know I have uh, taken down it's basically tear down the whole thing and I thought that I'm gonna share with you how to assemble it rather than disassemble it so let me show you real quick I have my screen uh, right here and uh, I have uh, my uh, computer is uh, all the opened everything and uh, make sure before you open everything, you do everything, you unplug your uh, um, charger and you take your battery out all the time. So basically I have uh, taken down uh, the whole thing. What I seen that uh, this one was a populate with uh, 4 gig memory so I wasn't sure this one have a problem with the memory itself. So I don't know if this memory is uh, bad or the other side uh, bad. This is the hardest memory to take uh, down because this is right under the keyboard. You have to open the whole thing to take it uh, down. And this mother, uh, this uh, computer can go up to 4, 8, uh, 16 gig. And uh, So what I did, um, I removed the two memory sticks. Uh, I don't have the other memory sticks with me but I had 2 gig each so I populated those two and as I suspected that my SSD I wanted to put it in here it's not working I noticed this cable wasn't um, plugged in if I can a little bit zoom in see if the glue is totally you know dried up some reason you know <coughs> excuse me whoever owned this computer I bought the second hand and who uh, maybe try to work on it something and uh, he messed it up he took the cable out or pull it out so now i put the cable in what i'm gonna do real quickly before i again start buttoning up everything i'm gonna just plug in my keyboard and mouse and uh, what i will do i'm gonna have this uh, cable uh, that gonna go in here that's where the keyboard plugs in <coughs> excuse me and my mouse plug in here so let me put this in and then I will come back and show you yeah I plug in my mouse right here and plug in my keyboard and uh, please uh, I'm uh, doing it I know what I'm doing but uh, I advise you strongly that you do not plug in do the computer if you are not handy I am a little bit handy, not too much, but I know what I'm doing. And uh, I plug in uh, my uh, adapter. I'm gonna turn it on, let's see, uh, power up. What happens, the blue light come on. I haven't seen, uh, oh, the fan is going. Okay, the light is coming. I wanted to see, uh, first, you know, if uh, my BIOS comes on, yes, I see that uh, my drive came up, so look like hard drive is picking up. 
so I'm gonna sh see what happens okay let me check the bias I'll come back to you and start it yeah again my request please don't plug in your power adapter into the computer if you see my computer is booting up uh, the hard drive I have put it into the second slot where I uh, it wasn't plugged in so that one is working so that means the cable had an issue with it um, other thing that uh, I really didn't need it to put the mouse in uh, because my mouse pad is uh, still out here hanging so I have to put that on and only the keyboard was important to see my bias so pretty much it's working so what I'm gonna do I just can uh, go back and uh, you know shut it down so it will shut down and then okay here we go I shut down both fans are out I'm gonna take the power out and now again uh, in order to remove this okay like I was saying I'm not gonna show you disassemble anything you have to push these pins out these are small pins if you see small white uh, tabs you have to use a tweezer or screwdriver something when you do this you have to make sure that uh, uh, let me uh, do this it's kind of hard to, sometimes the tweezer if uh, kind of uh, fat and it don't work then it's you have to get to the small uh, um, screwdriver so you press this on a side lock once the lock comes then this the cable snaps out same thing on this one mouse ought to open you have this black tabs on the side you just basically yeah, get your screwdriver slowly no forcing too much okay you have to apply force then you just pull it out so this is the way keyboard comes out so now what I'm gonna do what things I need I'm going to share with you how it's gonna work it out this is a really delicate part to work with uh, this is the screen I just uh, pulled it out so you have to make sure that um, you know no nothing uh, you are uh, messing around with the wires so this is the this is the I know this is the old timer tape it's called the captain tape these are non -st static tapes and uh, I don't think industry uses anymore only assembly line people use it eh? okay now I have to make sure everything, all the cables look fine, memory look fine, uh, all the wiring look tacked down. So I'm going to bring this one back. So this is the main thing. It's going to go up in there. So I'm going to see that to push my cable back so I can uh, have it. Uh, that's for the mouse pad. And uh, this is for my little speaker. So what you do, you slowly you just put it here uh, let me show you these are the two things one here and one that side that's gonna go right there on the body that's gonna screw it in and then this one basically sits in see it's just uh, there the small tabs on the side which just snaps in so you can snap those in right now I'm just snapping those in it's uh, like a you know press fit uh, once they are in now this is the way the keyboard gonna go that is uh, for my other one and the same scenario on this one if you pick up uh, that uh, you have to hold this one from the blue ribbon uh, I'm gonna put my finger away to show you on this one is a little tricky uh, you see the small uh, uh, one and this one is a black one you just lift this put your screwdriver down and you just lift it up I don't know if uh, it can zoom in or really quick once it's lifted in then you slide this cable uh, just like that so once it's slided just wanting to make sure that oh okay it went now you get the scooter uh, the tweezer on other end then just go back uh, the blacks uh, the tab on top you just press it down so that is the locks and this is the small uh, 
quite frankly I don't even know what is this uh, I think it's a microphone I don't think it's a speaker because speaker is up there so this will look like somewhere some maybe it's a microphone or one of the speakers small beeper so that I pulled it out so before you know anything uh, I can uh, put my keyboard going I don't have to worry because uh, um, only thing I need to tell you now I have to sort it out what screws I took it out because uh, I know kind of uh, that what screws goes in what so there are four screws right here these gonna go into the one here one here one here one here that holds in the keyboard in place let me put these screws in I'll come back to you yeah I put one two three four screws for the body uh, and now this is the body which I showed to you these are the two screws gonna go in here uh, I know it's always good to see disassembly but um, when you're doing uh, assemble that is the more fun part basically you rewind my tape back how it works and you see that how to disassemble and now what I'm gonna do these are uh, six screws there are two long ones if you uh, see zoom in two are long and uh, the two long rest are small size same size one of them I'm gonna go into the big uh, small one let me put it on and I'll show it to you yeah it's important for these uh, the tabs right here these are the guide pins you put that into that guide pin same thing on this side you put that into guide and as I mentioned to you that a longer screw that I showed to you closely that's one longer gonna go into this I'm just gonna put that on and then the rest I'm gonna show it to you once I do this so the reason I want to put it on so this won't fall the bracket okay and I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm gonna put three uh, two more screws on that side and three on this side the long ones gonna go in here and the uh, small one I'm gonna go in here let me come back to you okay I already uh, put the screws in as I mentioned that you need to make sure that uh, uh, the longer one goes here the small one goes in on the side and on, on this side the longer one goes at the bottom uh, and uh, this one these two goes on here once this one is done I'm gonna bring my bracket this is the other uh, cover that's gonna go right here on top of this so when you are doing this just have to watch out uh, I'm not using any new tape it's already there so I'm not uh, touching anything so I'll just put it in there and just basically snaps in you know and we're gonna put the screw in and this is the way it's gonna look uh, you know going up and perfect and I'm gonna come back for the keyboard I can do it the keyboard right now and uh, uh, I think I should do it let me put that the cable on I showed you already the cable how to put it in and how to put the cable on the uh, other side let me come back to you so I had uh, my keyboard cable put it in and my mouse now important thing I want to show to you one two three four five six tabs those gonna go into these holes you're just gonna slide it in like that and when we gonna do this these are the tabs on the top these goes in here and let me uh, do this so you basically that's it and uh, the keyboard is all set and now keyboard set I'm gonna come back to you okay now back uh, to the back side of uh, the computer these are uh, three screws they uh, from the motherboard goes on uh, the other side of the keyboard which I show you the metal bracket so you need to put those on and one here one here one here let me put those on and come back to you yeah I'm uh, pretty much done now only thing I wanted to share with you that um, what you need to uh, these are the four long screws this is the small ones if you see this this is gonna go in here 
four long ones goes here one two three four that goes on the bottom uh, body one two three four five six going to go small ones then we're gonna have a real tiny one those two gonna go here then two going to go here on um, this body once we put this one on I'm going to slide the DVD and then DVD will take one screw here and basically it's that's it um, and uh, as for SSD um, you put uh, two screws here now we can uh, put a second drive that's gonna go into here SATA two screws here and uh, the memory uh, we can put uh, 8 gig on this side so even the one I took it out I'm going to put it on this one end and the two goes in the front that is the harder to change which I showed to you as for the wireless card it's right here these are two antennas and uh, now this is the how you assemble the Asus G73 SW that's the number and uh, that's how we assemble it and that is how we disassemble it so um, matter of fact uh, you know it it's really very tedious work and I wish I would have a cameraman with me today when I was trying to do it and but he was at school so I just carry on try to fix it because I wanted to get this thing fixed and uh, finally now I fixed it and uh, I was going to put it together I said I really wanted to share with you guys so you can take advantage of this uh, how you can uh, troubleshoot uh, the problems uh, if you having with your laptop and uh, a quick uh, uh, tip when you had open you did so much hard work the best thing to do use uh, the brush just brush them off where you see the dust or the fans you just brush them off and blow them off that you know basically you're doing a tune up for your laptop and I really appreciate for your time and uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, please uh, if you like it subscribe me and give me thumbs up or share and uh, I really appreciate again and uh, uh, thank you for joining Easy Steps Computer Repair and Upgrade. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.